welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back again today with another pick a card reading for you. Um, today's pick a card reading, we're looking at a message that you need to hear from the other side right now. So a message from your spirit guides, a message from your higher self. What do you guys need to hear right now? If you guys are one of my returning subscribers that are watching, I want to thank you for your friendship. Thank you for subscribing to this channel and really making a difference in my life. I don't think you realize what a huge difference you've made and it's huge. So thank you so much. And if you're finding yourself here for the very first time, we just want to welcome you with open arms. I do daily pick a card readings here. So grab yourself some snacks, a cup of tea or a drink, and we'll just have a bit of a chat because we're all friends here when we gather at my table. So as I said, an urgent message today, a message meant to find you um, that you need today to hear. We have pile one, with the amethyst and the carnation pile number two with the lily and the black obsidian and pile number three with the red jasper and the two-tone rose so whichever pile or piles are calling out to you just know that there may be a message waiting there today from spirit for you this is a message that you need so if you're finding yourself here on this video you know spirit wants to talk to you today i'm going to jump right into pile number one a message you need today Hello, pile one. Thank you for joining me. You guys were drawn to this beautiful carnation or to this beautiful stone. Either way, this is your reading. A message meant to find you today, right now. What are you struggling with? What's happening in your life? What words of encouragement does spirit want to bring forth to you? We have the death card starting out your reading today. The death card. Are you in transition? Do you need to put an ending to something? We'll see what the rest of your cards have to say today, though. The lovers. Wow. Two major arcana already out of the deck. Could be a Gemini. The nine of swords. Okay, so what are you guys struggling with right now? We have the death card, the lovers, and the nine of swords. Let's get some clarity. Clarifying that death card, please, Spirit. A message they need to hear right now. The Two of Cups. Clarifying that Lover's card. Oops. The King of Cups. And clarifying the Nine of Swords. the wheel of fortune okay and on the back of the deck we have the king of wands so what message do your guides your angels your higher self want to say to you today what do they have to tell you the king of wands is an entrepreneur he is a passion powerhouse and he has so many amazing ideas and i feel like your guides and your angels really want you to focus on your passions right now and focus on all of these amazing ideas that will lead to a bright future for you over here, starting at the beginning of your reading with the death card and the two of cups, is there an ending to a relationship that you guys are facing right now? Are you guys stuck on this decision to end a relationship that maybe you don't know if it's serving you or not anymore, this relationship that you're asking about? You're asking perhaps about a water sign here, this king of cups. The two of cups is also a sign of a, a very strong connection, like a strong soulmate type of energy um, so we're going to get some clarity here. Whoopsie. That's an explosion. The fact that we have the three major arcana that we have here, Spirit really wants you to know that they see you struggling with depression or sadness or you're feeling kind of stuck. It is keeping you up at night, this decision you have to make about this ending, perhaps to this relationship or that a relationship that just recently ended and you're really struggling with that and you're struggling with the fact like you don't know where you stand maybe with the, with this person right now there could even be children involved perhaps you're pregnant with that death card always take what resonates but you can see in this death card she's heavily pregnant making way the ending of one life leads way to a brand new beginning for her and that's what spirit really wants you to focus on here that this decision that you have to make perhaps you know perhaps you are making this decision about ending a relationship and it's really weighing on your mind spirit wants you to know that they see your struggle but that this is like a planned 
sort of event in your life, the Wheel of Fortune here brings in with it sudden change. You have sudden change coming forward that will hopefully put an end to all of this negativity that you're feeling, all of these sleepless nights that you're having. Message for you. Eight of Swords. And the two of wands. Yeah, you've been trapped and feeling trapped in a situation, perhaps in a, in a relationship or a job, some sort of situation that you feel really entrapped by. But spirit wants to remind you that you're not trapped there with this eight of swords. You can walk away. Your troubles are farther away than you think that they are. You can take off the mask and walk away. And the worries, the stresses that you are really worried about right now, it's like praying for something you don't want. Spirit's letting you know that this is a self-imposed -impo imprisonment. It's leaving you in the dark. And what you really need to do now is to look to that bright future. Look above these beautiful mountains, how bright it is, how exciting it looks, how, how curious it makes me want. It just makes me want to walk over there and take a peek over top of that edge. And that's what Spirit wants you to do. They want you to make that decision to invest in yourself and leap into a new beginning. Ace of Chalices, the Ace of Cups. You guys have a new offer about to, to come out of the woodworks here with the Ace of Cups. It's going to come out of nowhere. The Wheel of Fortune brings with it sudden change. So letting go of the past is paramount here. Letting go of, of the ending that you're really stuck on that's really causing you all this turmoil. Maybe somebody left you. And it's really thrown you into this funk because you're, you really felt like you were in love with this person and you really felt like it was a soulmate connection and you really felt like it was the one. Spirit's telling you that it's time for expansion. You have new things that are going to be overflowing. Look at how this fountain is just overflowing. It's bursting out everywhere. That's the abundance of, of emotion and love that's coming for you in the future once you expand your horizon and walk past that moon without fear. You have security on the back of the deck. The Queen of Pentacles brings with it the security once you leap into this unknown, once you follow your passions and expand your horizons a little bit here. Spirit says that you're spending too much time holding on too tightly to things that you're worried about losing or maybe things that you've already perhaps already lost here with the Four of Pentacles. You've maybe already lost all of that and spirit says it's time for you to gain more security elsewhere we have king of wands so the yin to your yang could be on its way to you once you push past the obstacle and really you can see it. i love this card i love this card it's just so full of warmth and beauty and yes it's obstacles in your way this person's leaping from one wand to the next wand but it's like a childlike exuberance you can tackle those challenges you can tackle those challenges with excitement. It doesn't have to, you don't have to be guarded against these challenges or these obstacles. You can look at them like, like a challenge, like I'm going to push through them and it's going to be fun and I can make it fun. And that's what spirit says. These obstacles in your way, it's just your own perception. Your own perception is the obstacle in the way here to this new start. The death card brings with a new beginning, but this new beginning has thrust you into anxiety and sadness. When spirit says shift that focus, you can attack it with happiness and joy in your heart in full knowledge that you are amazing and that this person, if they've left you, are missing out. Always take what resonates and leave what does not. Let's see what else spirit wants to say to you today. Messages do you have? Urgent message you need to hear right this moment. Two of Wands, again, spirits just repeating themselves at this point. <laughs> They're like, I said what I said. Um, we have the Two of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. It's time to look at things with a playful expectation that you're going to get what you want. You know, it's time for you to, to embark upon a journey that you've maybe been putting off for a while. It's been too long in the planning stage. It's your time. Four of Wands. You guys have this love offer coming forward with that Wheel of Fortune, that Ace of Cups. Um, it's bringing in a lot of potential for happiness, celebration in the future, in the very near future. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse position, which is interesting to me because it's like, 
it's like a sense of being caught almost like making amends it's like making amends for things in the past and maybe that will be you know this whole situation will heal your heart is what the sense i'm getting is that it's going to heal your heart all of the times where you felt like you were lied to in the past or you felt like you were the last to know something or just not kept in the loop that energy is going to be gone and here we have the judgment card and the wheel of fortune again the judgment card brings with it a fresh new start you can see this cat is bringing you know has a little um white feather in its paw that's the hope that spirit really wants you to hold on to don't don't thrust yourself they see you too long too hard in this energy of the nine of swords they want you to hold on to that hope even if it feels small right now even if you're having a difficult time right now in the now making that decision to expand to move forward hold on to a little bit of that hope because that sudden change they're reminding you again will fortune will of fortune that sudden change is coming for you mermaid's love so this person coming forward for you this change coming in this new love offer for some of you coming forward is going to be somebody who can literally hold you down in times of chaos maybe you didn't have that in the past maybe you didn't feel like you had somebody who could hold you down but this person is going to do that for you and that's also spirit holding you down too like they're saying, you know, when you're flying, you feel yourself flying off and you're out of control and you're overwhelmed. We're here. We're holding you. We're anchoring you. You don't need to worry. My home is my castle and spirit wants to remind you that you are creating your own life through your thoughts, feelings and intentions. Your soul, you know, you are building up beautiful rooms inside your soul. It's a beautiful, I love that card too. It's such a beautiful card. What is beautiful about this card is that, you know, as this woman gets older, she's adding more and more turrets to her castle. You know, you can see her holding one in her hand here and they just, they house everything. You know, they truly house all of her hopes, her dreams, her fears, and she's just building up that castle. She's continuing on her journey. Even her pain gets housed there. But it's about letting go of it so you can, again, experience life, move forward. You have a lot to look forward to here. Advice from spirit for you. Adjustments are required. And those adjustments are to your, your expectations of what the future holds. Um, you need to adjust your, your negative mindset, perhaps. A time for healing you're in pain you're sad about what's happened an ending has come and maybe it, it like you didn't want that ending communication is key you can always talk to your guides about your feelings about your you know you can just you can talk to them it's like prayer you're not alone be bold and make the first move into your future in the back of the deck we have it's time to take action in the action will come that healing you know some people say you know it's the time for healing it's time for me to retreat into myself but spirit's saying you know over here with this nine of swords you've already retreated you're already overwhelmed you're already getting depressed and sad um and they're saying that through this expansion that's where the healing is going to come the healing is going to come when you are able to expand your your expectation of, of happiness i feel like you've given up that expectation we have take, whoops, take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest the blessings that you deserve in your life. And we have divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past all of the illusion, all of the pain, and see the underlying order. And we did have the Wheel of Fortune coming out twice for you. These are faded changes. They're difficult. And it's, it's hard for us to really have perspective on it when we don't remember making those plans in our charts but this is something that you've planned for yourself so you could learn through this experience and experience this expansion because this is your time now to truly um come into your own power 
You are going to overcome all of those difficulties. The worst is behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. So everything is, the worst is behind you. It's all downhill from here. Another clear message from spirit. Gratitude, a great way to start the healing process, a great way to um, kind of kickstart all of this change is to feel grateful in the now, right this moment, even for tiny things, take, making those baby steps and being grateful for the small things really, really makes a big difference. And what I find interesting here, guys, some of you out there may be pregnant. We've got these two images of these beautiful women pregnant and... Um, that could be where your anxiety and frustration are some of you pregnant with this person's child that's left perhaps take what resonates leave what doesn't there could be children in this involved in your life right now or but spirit really wants you to show gratitude in the moment even for especially for that little life that's growing inside of you if you are pregnant what a beautiful amazing gift that is what an amazing thing that this spark of life is using you it's using you to 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 come into this world, it's just incredible. It's incredible. Creation, you are a creative force. I feel like, I feel almost emotional right now. <laughs> Somebody is pregnant watching this. I feel almost emotional because of the creative force that's inside of you. First of all, with the fact that you're having a baby perhaps. Again, take what resonates. Not all of you are having children, <laughs> um, but you are a creative life force. And that's what spirit really wants to remind you too, that you are the manifester. You are the magician. You wield the power over all of the elements. And you can have what you want. Look past the illusions and see the underlying order. Guilt. Maybe you were the one that left in some case. In some cases, you could have been the one that left a situation that was no longer serving you. You can see her tethered to this mundane task, this domestic task. And maybe you're feeling a lot of guilt um, from walking away from duties that you feel were your responsibility. It's time to let go of that. Spirit says no more guilt. No more guilt at all. Spirit is telling you you're done with guilt. Let's get some messages of encouragement from your guides and your angels today. Let's pop a note. Don't live anywhere except in the present moment, keeping yourself in that feeling of gratitude. Very, very important right now. This change is dramatic, but it has been needed in your life. You have not been happy. You have felt stagnation. I feel like you guys have felt a lot of stagnation in your past experience. And this change, albeit maybe it could have been sudden, it could have been something dramatic, but it's needed. You can't change the world unless you change your world first. Close the door to the past. Lots of past messages for you today. We see all of your pain. We see you struggling. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to leap into your power. Don't be afraid to go after those inspired ideas because those inspired ideas lead to your future. You're not alone in all of this, even if you feel like you are. And that's a difficult thing for people um, to really grasp onto. And I know I've struggled with that too, feeling alone in your emotions, feeling alone at your lowest point. But it's not until you get through that hump that you look back that you're like, well, I, I wasn't alone. I felt that. Your time is coming. Be ready. I feel very emotional during this reading. I feel like I'm on, like, like I have tears sitting at the back of my throat. Show gratitude. Here we gratitude. Don't live anywhere but the present. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are a spiritual being having a human experience to learn, to grow. You are always safe. We can clear, bleh, sorry. We can clearly see the finish line. Let's get some charms for you. to the bottom okay we have the queen of pentacles and we have the 
five of wands so the queen of pentacles is all about that security and i feel like you guys are really feeling like your security is being jeopardized your security and your happiness is being jeopardized you've got obstacles you felt like you've you were in competition perhaps with other people in the past for this security that you really desperately want and now you feel like it's jeopardized we have t and s but spirit's here to remind you that you have everything within you to gain that security on your own we have a dragon here a dragon breathes fire and protects themselves with scales um you're in self-protection mode right now and you're really you're maybe breathing fire at people around you oh you guys i might have to grab a few more charms for you we have the love and it's in the foundation and this is like when it's blocked up like that i always think about you know starting over starting from scratch from scratch and starting to build up that foundation of a home again like a breakdown of a home we have the chain the chains come off to the past we have Pisces energy, intuitive, and we have the seahorse, or the seahorse. We have the starfish spirit in the bowl as well, which is about healing yourself, regenerating yourself from within. You have that ability. Spirit wants to remind you of that to release the chains that hold you back in life and let go, especially the guilt. If that's one of the things that's really, really plaguing you, spirit, sorry, my nose is super itchy. Spirit is telling you to stop. Stop with the guilt. Because look at, at the end of the day, you are an angel. <laughs> you do for others so often. You are such, you know, you're just such a, a mothering type of energy. You're always helpful to people. You're always doing for others what's well, time for to do for yourself. Okay, group number one, that is your reading. This is a message you needed right this moment. If this resonated, I would love to hear about it in the comments section so I could get some words of encouragement back to you. Um, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Um, hit the notification bell if you feel called to. Even liking this video if you found it helpful is a wonderful way to support me. But either way, I just hope that you guys come back and visit me on another day. And I hope that you have an amazing day today. Bye, guys. Hello, group two. You were drawn to this beautiful lily or the black obsidian stone. Either way, this is your reading. This is a message you need to hear right now from your guide spirit and higher self. Oh, we have the sun. Beautiful. Favorite card in the deck. Out first. Urgent message for you that you need to hear right this moment. The high priestess. Interesting. Oh. This card is not an actual tarot card, but it came with my deck and I have assigned it meaning, so I will leave it there, but I'm going to draw another one. urgent message for you right now lovers oh my gosh you guys let's clarify this row because <laughs> you have all major arcana knight of swords star oh my god okay we have the knight of wands in the reverse and we also have the hanged man and the ten of pentacles okay and i feel like pulling that too okay what is the urgent message that your guides and angels have for you um, first of all, can I just say, I'm a little overwhelmed <laughs> by the amount of major arcana that showed up for you, especially in your top row. Um, and it just continued on for you in the bottom. So I'm just, I'm a little overwhelmed. This is an important message, um, from spirit for you. Let's see what is happening with you. So spirit sees that you are blocking the intentions that you're setting for yourself i feel here in this spread if we start here at the back of the deck with the ten of coins and the king of wands i can see that the potential for your security and your future is massive you guys could be an entrepreneur you could have your own business you could definitely be a fire sign here with this king of wands lots of fire energy over there with the sun as well and the knight of wands so i feel like you could you're just a powerhouse of creative thought like you have amazing ideas. Like I said, you could own your own business or have some sort of career where you run your own life is basically what I'm saying. Or that is a potential for you because of the amazing ideas that you have. Spirit is letting you know that you can have all of this if you want it. You can have the happiness of the 10 of coins, which is 
truly being so proud of what you built. You can see this old man looking at his children, his grandchildren. He's got dogs. He's got a house and a home that he's really built up. And he's financially secure and he can rest easy when he passes to know that he's left a good legacy for his family. And it's all because of what he's done and what he's accomplished. He's been able to push through and use his creative force to create all of this life, to create this whole life for himself. And that's what spirit is letting you know that you have open to you. But you're blocking some of that from coming towards you. Um, with the sun energy and the knight of swords, they're literally telling you to go for it. If you have ideas that you've been sitting on, spirit's saying, you know what, you are literally a star in life. There's something very, very special about you. And you already know, you already know with this high priestess card, you're sitting on the knowledge. <laughs> you already know what you need to be doing in order to, to usher in all of this um, abundance into your life. All of this not just financial abundance, but there's love and like passion and just going after your dreams. I feel like saying to you that for some of you, but considering that this is right in the center of your pile, this card, um, it's kind of lover's energy to me, but there's seven birds in the sky of this, this couple that's embracing. And seven is like a conflict type of number. It's about challenges and obstacles. And we have the Knight of Wands here. It's kind of like that sense of chaotic energy holding you back. So is there a relationship, like a chaotic type of relationship that's really holding you back from pursuing um, your dreams? We have the lover's card here, which is a decision making card. And it's like you're deciding to hang yourself up and to surrender to the universe. But spirit's reminding you that you're surrendering to your own will here. You have to surrender to and, and be willing to come down off of that tree when the time is right. But they see that you kind of are wasting a little bit of your time with a bit of chaotic energy and some chaotic partnerships here that are kind of holding you back from pursuing your dreams and pursuing what you need to be pursuing. But I'm going to get some clarity for you. But that star card is truly a sign from spirit that like you are, you have so much going for you, you have so much potential message for you from your guides. And so many major arcana just means that you know, this is an important message. This is an important theme in your life. You're, you are, you know, the Knight of Wands charges forward with his passions. He charges forward and he becomes the king. And they're saying, you know, you have, you need to charge into this happiness, charge through the obstacles that are in their way of you, because you already know this isn't serving you. You already know because it's in the reverse. It's chaotic. It's disappointing. It doesn't give you an, it doesn't fulfill your passions. It, it halts you. Message you need to hear right now. The wheel. So you guys have change coming in with that wheel of fortune. And this, again, these are major arcana cards. I'm kind of thrown for a loop here. These are major arcana. They're telling you that this change is coming in for you, that this shift of energy, all of these ideas that you're coming, that you're having, they need to be brought into motion to gain that momentum. It's fate. You guys, they just keep coming. I feel like I'm only dealing in major arcana for most <laughs> for you guys today. Mm -hmm. We have the hanged man again. Now this is an interesting version of the hanged man. You can see like it's like somebody kind of floating off and keeping themselves hooked onto the beach here. Keeping yourselves at bay. The fact that the hangman comes out twice is really spirit's tell way of telling you to come off that tree. You need to be the force of you need to be the force that acts upon you know, your own life, you need to cause that momentum in your own life and hanging up on that tree, you know, staying stagnant isn't the way to do so. Two of cups. So not only <laughs> the sun on the back of the deck, um, not only um, will all of this change bring about, you know, financial abundance and an ability to express yourself, which is amazing, but you have the two of cups attraction coming as well the lover's energy here it's going if if you're wasting your time on energies that are not serving you if you're wasting your time in places that 
seem chaotic and they're not really going anywhere. Spirit's saying that once you make this shift and focus on yourself and focus on this amazing, joyful, abundant future that you're about to have, it's going to usher in with it the soulmate love, the, you know, the relationship that you really need and want. These relationships that are kind of flippant and chaotic and kind of, they're not serving you. There's lots of challenges that you're facing. When you're ushering in all this other abundance, the universe has no other option but to usher in abundance and love too. So the two of cups, you know, is a soulmate card. It's about relationships. It's about you finally finding someone that you're both attracted to equally. And you have the sun card flanking your reading. Like I own an abundance here. I almost just feel like I could end here and I wouldn't have to say anything more because you have this assurance of happiness and abundance and success waiting for you. Look at this card. Uh, it's all, everything is already packed away for the winter. They can rest easy. Abundance waiting for you. But the only thing blocking you is your own. It's like, it feels like young energy. Like you feel like you have all the time in the world to kind of mess around here. And Spirit's saying, yeah, you know, you're allowed to do what you want to do, but now we want you to kind of focus on what you need to get done. It's time to charge into that happiness. We're, we're tired of watching you mess around so much. It's time to charge forward. You guys have a really, really bright future ahead of you. The answers you need are coming. Full Moon and Gemini had the lover's card there, two card here. Your hard work will pay off and is paying off. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. So all of this happiness, maybe you've had it rough over here um, in the past. All of that is, is coming to an end and it's time for you to really embrace the change. It's time for you to embrace. I almost want to say it's time for you to embrace this process of growing up and, and becoming this powerhouse that you deserve to become like you're you're kind of hesitating in leaving this stage behind this knight of wands this chaotic energy in reverse you're you're hesitating to leave that in the past because it's fun <laughs> sometimes it's fun to go out and make mistakes and it's fun to you know experience that but now's the time for change chaos can be exhilarating but it's not a good place to stay and it's not a any place that you can maintain anything. You have career transition. You guys, we're talking about career that's going to bleed into love. It's going to bleed into abundance in every area of your life. But this is about your career. This is about you focusing and putting your energy instead of into people, <laughs> putting your energy into these amazing ideas that you have. And this is a huge change for you. This is something that is destined to be with, you know, that wheel of fortune here. Take back your power. Use your God-given power and intentions to manifest those blessings that you want. You're overcoming all of the difficulties from your past. The worst is behind you. You're surmounting any previous challenges. And we also have the you know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Like I said with that high priestess, you already are well aware of where you need to be or what you need to be doing. You're just kind of hesitating right now, you know, maybe enjoying yourself a little bit, maybe <laughs> you're just hesitating, but you do know what you need to be doing and what direction your life should take. We have forgiveness and we have guilt here. And confusion. So maybe you're confused. Maybe you are having a little bit of guilt about walking away. Maybe you are in a partnership or something right now or some sort of situation where you feel guilty about walking away from it to pursue your own dreams. And, you know, we have forgiveness here. It's time to plow through with this rhino imagery. Plow through those obstacles. Plow through the guilt. Plow through the confusion because they're not serving you. And, you know, with this card tethered to this domestic task with that angel, you're an angel. Like you always put other people ahead of yourself. It's time for you to focus on these amazing ideas. Again, powerhouse, pa king of wands, passion. You've got the sun waiting for you on both ends. Let's get some words of encouragement from your angels and your guides. 
Okay, so we have change is scary, but regret is really scarier than that. You could be a 90 year old person on your deathbed and you'll never say to yourself, man, I wish I, I wish that I had not tried. <laughs> no one's ever said that. Still I rise, even when you get knocked down, even when there's obstacles in your past, even when there's confusion, get up every single day, make an effort, put yourself in a position of gratitude because you guys have amazing abundance coming. Don't live anywhere except the present moment. It's a great way to stay in the present. This too shall pass. All of this confusion, um, this chaotic energy that you're sitting in right now, it's all going to pass. You're going to be able to focus your thoughts more easily and, and stop feeling like you're in a place of stagnation. And I realize that probably COVID has probably added to this whole thing, not feel, feeling like you can move forward with these ideas or this new career that you want to take but that's coming to an end. You have happiness coming. When you feel alone, we're with you. And not just happiness, you guys. I want to pair, like I want to stress the success that is represented by this 10 of pentacles, the 6 of bows abundance. Like you guys have so much waiting. Joy is coming, that sun card. We see the pain you've been in in the past. Three coming out fearfully and wonderfully made it's a reminder from spirit that you are a human being or a spiritual being having a human experience we see the struggle but it's time for you to wipe your face and straighten that crown you are the king you are the queen of wands you are the one that needs to make all of this happen and you will teeny tiny tarot for you One here somewhere, two. Whoops, this one fell out. <laughs> Stuck to my finger, and so did the A. Six of Pentacles and the Empress. Do you see the abundance that's waiting for you? The ability to be generous with people. And I feel like you are, are the type of person to give, 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 give of yourself and not get anything back in return. Well, now it's the time for you to level out that playing field. And if you do that, you'll be able to still be generous with people, but have those boundaries in, in place. We have the marble that represents the world to me. That's about success and conclusions and harmony. A lot of happiness. Scorpio in the bowl. The little white rabbit. Let me see here. It's a little white rabbit. It's about going after things, being alert. A and W in the bowl today. Or M if you see M. We have the winged. We have looking at things from a higher perspective, using your knowledge to further your or advance yourself here with the owl. You're very intelligent. Use that intelligence to your to your advantage we have this bird that's a taking flight that is you you are taking flight we have this Chewbacca it's a little Star Wars figurine um, and that just always pops up when somebody is really um, has a narrowed interest um, and I, I say nerdy interest but I, I don't mean that offensively at all I'm a huge huge nerd I crochet I bake I read tarot like I'm just the biggest weirdo you'd ever meet um, it's just somebody who has a narrowed interest. So maybe this passion, this new career has to do with this interest of yours, this narrowed interest that, that you are going to really literally turn into this huge abundant windfall for yourself. Okay. Number two, that is your reading. If this resonated with you, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love to hear, um, I would love to, sorry, have you subscribed to my channel and Hit the notification bell if you feel called to. Even liking this video would help me out so much. Head to Instagram. I'm over there as well. But mostly, I just hope that you come back and visit me on another day. And I hope that you have a wonderful day today. Bye. Hello, group three. You are drawn to the beautiful rose. I, can't, I don't even know where to put it. It's so big. <laughs> and this little red jasper stone. But either way, this is your reading. What does spirit have to tell you right now? What important message do they have for you right this second today? Some powerful messages have come through in the first two groups. So I'm very anxious to see what spirit has to say to you, group three. 
We've had love. We've had career transitions. We have here the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful way to start your reading. Get some cards and then we'll talk about them. An important message for you right this moment. The Two of Swords. The Four of Pentacles. Let's get some clarity on that. We have Temperance. Temperance here. Clarity for the Two of Swords, please. Oh, we have two coming out. The Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. And to, oops, clarifying the Four is, or the Four of Pentacles is the Seven of Wands. And on the back of the deck, we have the Hierophant. Okay, what is the message for you from Spirit today? If we start on the back of the deck with the Hierophant, that really represents ins institutions like marriage, um, education, government, that sort of thing. So you could be in school. Um, you could be asking about love today. Um, but what I really feel like, I feel like you guys are feeling a little bit unbalanced in your current situation. And I feel like you guys are really... I feel like you guys are conforming to roles in your life that you don't feel like are serving you anymore. But it's like this fear of moving forward because you're afraid of losing what you've already built up. But the obstacles of change just seem so insurmountable that you don't know, you don't know how to get there. You want that change, but the obstacles are right there and you just don't know what to do. Um, over here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Temperance card, it's like maybe you're focused on a home You've been brought balance to this home. You are um, very, sorry, I touch the cards a lot, you guys. And I know that I'm always like in here with my hand, but it's my way of connecting with them. If I touch them, it's my way of like acknowledging the thought. I don't know. It's just weird, but I'm sorry if it distracts you. But with the Ten of Pentacles and the Temperance card, it's just this sense of, you know, it's like you're the glue that holds uh, a situation together and you feel a lot of responsibility to that situation despite the fact that you would like expansion, despite the fact that you kind of would like to move into something new, perhaps here. The Two of Swords shows that confusion. And here with the Four of Pentacles, again, it's about that wanting to um, really hold on to what you've built and not lose what you've got. It's a sense of possessiveness as well. But here with the Eight of Wands, it shows that you want movement. You want, even with the sailboat imagery, like you want movement, you want passion, you want excitement and adventure. But the obstacles and it, the Knight of Swords, you know, has that desire for that movement to go charging towards it. Um, but here's the obstacles in the way. And the obstacle in the way could be these responsibilities that you really, really feel. That you really feel um, in your life right now. If the, yeah, you're, this is the devil. You're feeling trapped when all you want is change here with the Wheel of Fortune. You're feeling stuck in your position and what you really want, what you'd really hope for is change, is, you know, a different, a, a change, a, like a shakeup. A message you need to hear right now. Advice from spirit. There it goes. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. So we have the King of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Wands. Advice from Spirit, what you need to hear right now. Magician, my goodness, Knight of Swords and the Devil again. Okay, so Spirit is saying, they're talking to you. <laughs> Okay, sorry it's messy. I don't like messy, but I'll deal with it. I'm trying to I'm trying to learn to be not so, you know, not so focused and strict with my expectations of myself. Okay, so 
advice from spirit this entrapment that you feel is like holding you back it's making you feel overwhelmed you're losing sleep you can't sleep at night you're maybe depressed maybe saddened by it i'm sorry i had to stop to cough and it just made me think that i almost feel like you guys are afraid to say anything you're afraid to talk like my throat is so blocked <clears throat> you're afraid to mention your dreams or mention these these ideas that you have it sends you into this anxiety but you're afraid to acknowledge out loud that you feel trapped that you're feeling stuck <clears throat> the devil card is this you know are there addictions in your life that you need to let go of are there is there something that's not serving you that you can release right now that will help you to lighten up some of this nine of swords energy you know, we have the King of Pentacles, which really re represents security. And I feel like that's really what you're focused on. Maybe you're in a life right now where you're feeling very secure um, in a financial sort of mindset. But Spirit's saying that it's not serving you emotionally. It's not serving you. The Knight of Wands here with the Magician are reminders that you need to leap into your truth. You need to leap into the, the life that you envision for yourself because the magician wields the power over all of the elements he communicates what he wants to the universe and then that knight of wands charges in for it the passion that you're feeling um if you're feeling a spark spirit saying you have this ability to go charging towards it if you so choose if you want it you can have it Seven of Pentacles. It's like it's the sense of growing impatient. <clears throat> you're impatient in your life. And you're trying to do what's best by everybody except you with the justice card. But your security, your happiness is important too. We have the nine of pentacles here, the king of wands. Excuse me. Again, my throat is so blocked. <clears throat> it's time to be honest about what you really want in life with yourself. And with the people in your life because you're growing impatient conforming to these roles that have been put upon you or that you've put yourself in and your happiness you won't be able to feel secure or build up your own security until you follow those passions and be honest about what you truly want in life which is to not feel trapped and it's not necessarily saying you know um if you're in a family you have to leave your family and start fresh that's not what it's about it's about communicating your needs and it's about communicating that you're feeling this entrapment you can even see in this card like there's a set of handcuffs there something's keeping you handcuffed making you feel like you can't be that you can't express yourself but you have an, a lot of amazing ideas the king of wands is an entrepreneur they have amazing ideas they run their own businesses and that could be something that you know could be in your future if you allow it to happen Don't let your past hold you back and hold that vision. Just like the magician, the magician is that manifester. The magician does wield all the power and you wield all the power in your own life. And I feel like sometimes you feel like that power has been taken from you, but this is a reminder, a check-in with your guides to let you know, to remind you that you have that power. We have nothing is yet set in stone because you manifest your future through your thoughts, feelings, and intentions. You can make a shift today that will affect your future, that will put you in a positive mindset tomorrow, that will keep, keep rolling that forward. I heard this really interesting thing online recently that said, you know, when you have something bad happen to you or you're in a negative mindset, you know, it puts you in a bad mood. And if that bad mood lasts long enough and you allow that bad mood to last long enough, it literally turns into a personality, a personality trait because it's just, it attaches to you and just becomes a part of you if you don't shake it off. But nothing is yet set in stone because you have the control over yourself. Bring love into the situation, mostly for yourself, I feel, bringing that love in. I feel like you really focus on others. You really focus on serving others. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to life. Interesting.
gifts from God. We angels are bringing you gifts from your creator and all you have to do is open them to receive. So you guys have some abundance coming in. Some change coming in. Angel therapy. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. It's kind of like that energy of the nine of swords. You know, feeling entrapped, feeling stuck. It's that old sense of throwing your worries at the foot of the cross. Comfort. I'm with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. Soulmate. <clears throat> So are you dealing with a soulmate relationship or is that what's coming in the future? Victim. So that card always kind of shows up when and we have perception on the back of the deck. It's interesting. Um, <clears throat> Spirit's just letting you know that your perception's a little bit skewed right now. You can see in the perception card here that, you know, the transformation, the bird to be free, the transformation of the butterfly to embark upon, you know, a transformation and a change is here for you. And we have the victim card here with the acorn. It's like this sense of being feeling tricked, feeling like a victim. Maybe you feel like you're trapped in a certain situation with another person that you thought was your soulmate and they tricked you. Your perception's skewed right now. But the acorn is like the egg for me. It's like all potential of life exists inside of it. There's so much potential inside of you and it just needs to be planted in the right conditions at the right time. And then it's assured to grow. It's about building that momentum. I talk about momentum a lot, but it's, it's a law of the universe. Just as much as the law of attraction is there, the law of momentum will carry you forward. A ball that is kicked downhill will continue rolling, but you have to kick it first. And it's about you making that ball move, kicking yourself into high gear. Um, there's a sense of victim mentality with the nine, of, not with the nine of swords, but even with the eight of swords, that's not here right now, but just that sense of feeling trapped. Um, and spirits wants to remind you that you are not a victim here, that you are in control of yourself and you can move forward whenever you want. And that's hard to hear sometimes. I'm sure like it's hard to hear because sometimes we literally feel stuck, but they want you to know that put in the right conditions, you will grow into things. You will grow into a huge, magnificent tree. You will grow roots. You will spread your branches. Um, other people will be able to gain from that experience from you. Like you'll be able to teach others. So this will extend into other people. Let's get some words of encouragement from your guides. Stop the self-sabotage. Whoops, lost a month, they all exploded. You need to take time to think about what you truly want and communicate that with the universe so that they can, it can correspond to the nature of your song. You're almost there, reaching those epiphany. Your inner child is in a lot of pain, it says. I threw one on the floor by accident. A dark past does not lead to a dark future. And that card's been coming up a lot. Help is coming. Stop getting in your own way. And on the back of the deck, we have joy is coming. So you have joy. You're feeling trapped right now, but joy is on its way to you. some charms for you. Ooh, interesting. A lot of big ones today. The Knight of Cups and the Star. So I'll, I almost feel like with those two cards, like some of you have given up a little bit of hope that l real love exists for you or that you would ever have that feeling of romance or anything like that again. And Spirit wants you to know that that's not that's not the case. Um, for some of you, once you move past these feelings of being feeling trapped and stuck, you have someone from your past returning. Could be a soulmate connection, somebody who's going to be very generous with you. Um, we have S in the bowl, A, 
and P. Interesting. We have we have the bell. And as I said earlier, no, I felt really blocked in my throat. Like it's about communicating your needs to other people in your life that you're serving right now. Because I feel like you are feeling really trapped in your home life, maybe perhaps. And you're not communicating your needs or your feelings to other people. It's time to do that. We have this soft, soft little um, heart that my daughter made me when she was very small. And it's soft. And it just makes me think of home and love and children. <clears throat> my light just went out. So that's interesting. And we also have the Empress shell here represented by Empress. So I feel like there are children in this connection or in this connection. I feel like there are children involved in your life. I feel like you are perhaps a parent. You're just, you you serve others somehow in some kind of capacity. And that's your main focus. Like that's your main focus. You feel like the weight of the world is on you. And it's like this feeling of not being able to let it go either. Like I can't remove this coin from his back. It's lodged in there. It's like you're carrying the weight of the world. It says 1997 on this pentacle. When truly you can chart, you can plow through the obstacles. But it's like you're carrying that weight. We also have the guitar pick. Do you play music? Do you play guitar? Okay, group three, that is your reading. This is the urgent message. A message meant for you today, for you to hear. Um, spirit wants you to know that you're not as stuck as you think you are. If this resonated with you, I would love to hear about your story in the comment section. <clears throat> I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join this community. Even liking this video if you enjoyed it would help me out. But either way, I really hope that you come back and visit me on another day. And I hope that you have a great day today. Bye.